and welcome back to my channel so I have a couple of things I want to share with you guys I have been very busy this past few weeks I've actually moved as you can see um I have no background whatsoever it's just a plain wall for now for you guys I've actually moved from where I've been living oh duh where where would you have moved from you know where you lived um, and I came, I left that area, uh, I actually was raised in that area, in that city, and moving to a different, um, city, still in Florida, but a different area whatsoever, like, completely different. It's sort of like a bittersweet feeling, so I've been trying to get myself used to it and around it. Um, the place we picked out is beautiful, I love it. I do not have my own room for recording, but I did make the best out of it in my huge walk-in closet. So for now, um, I'm stuck in my walk-in closet. I don't have anything behind me, but soon I will have things for you. So bear with me while I talk to you guys and I look at the viewfinder. It's just that I want to know how it looks. I know it looks a little odd. Um, for some reason my face look a lot lighter than my body, but when I look at myself in the mirror and I go outside, my makeup is perfectly fine. I guess I have to work with the lighting, meaning like probably they're too close to me or... Um, that's one. I moved. So that's why I've actually have been like, haven't uploaded videos because I'm trying to get everything settled. Um, I spoke to my mom and she's gonna come in a specific day of the week so I can get the videos out for you guys during the week so everything is falling back to its place so I'm really excited because it's been a crazy crazy few months so um, that is it that's one I have not forgotten about the giveaway that I have to do for you guys because I'm so excited reaching 5,000 which was probably like two weeks ago and um, I haven't forgotten about you guys it's just that I have been very 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 overwhelmed and very busy with the movie I will get that giveaway video up for you guys and uh, third thing I know was a, there was something else I wanted to share with you guys if I remember I will probably incorporate it in the video so this is going to be my March favorites. If you guys want to know what products I have been loving, I have been using, and I can't stop talking about it, then all you have to do is grab a snack, grab a notebook and a paper, or get your notes ready on your phone because I have quite a few products I want to share with you guys. So want to see what my favorites for March were or are, and I don't know why I keep doing this with the hands. Oh, sorry, I'm Puerto Rican. We talk with our hands. I should just... So if you want to know what my March favorites are, all you got to do is keep watching. So let's start with, um, I got a couple of, I got a few products that I want to really talk to you guys about. So let me just, I always like to start off with basically like hair and skin and then makeup and then whatever it goes down that road. So first thing is my shampoo. I have been obsessing and I have been loving this shampoo and this is, I actually got it on my Target haul. And I've actually, again, I, I wash my hair uh, once every week, so that's why it's probably like, and again, you cannot use it often, so. But this is a Neutrogena Shampoo Anti-Residue Formula, and this pretty much just takes the gunk out of your hair. The bottle is clear, and then the letters are gray, so you can't really see it. So this pretty much takes the gunk and all the nasty residue out of your hair, and it's pretty awesome. I love it. I've been using it, and I really do notice a difference on my hair, I have to say. And I love it now for summer. You know how um, you sweat a lot, and it's just, I mean, if you live in the South, like me, I live in Florida, and Florida is just like pretty much su the sun, and then Florida. It's like literally living right next to the sun. Like my son, my neighbor is the sun. Come on. So I love that shampoo. It works very well in my hair. I haven't seen it. I don't see it dry my, drying my hair whatsoever. So it does not dry up your hair. It really doesn't. Um, I just work a lot of it. I just work a little bit on the scalp and just work, work, work. And then just rinse it out and then wash it with the regular shampoo. That's what I like to do. Next thing is two products for the skin that I have been loving and I have been trying to um, work a little bit more on skincare because I've been wearing more makeup than usual 
and of course we always have to start taking care of our skin there's no such thing as you know I'm too young to take care of my skin so I have been obsessing over the simple line you guys know simple line I love simple line just because I have such sensitive skin that I got to be very careful with what I wear on my skin I'm sorry on my face because I just tend to break out like this so simple if you have very sensitive um, skin I highly recommend the simple skincare line they are like amazing like they're one of the best for um, sensitive skin and this right here is a simple cleansing mincelor Min micellar water hopefully I'm pronouncing it right it cleanses removes makeup and also hydrates and honestly you just take it with some cloth and you just pretty much take off your makeup with it that's it you don't need anything else this I use it basically when I've been like excuse me like this actually refreshes you so you can use it for summer it's gonna be amazing for you to wash your face I love Love, love, love using this thing because it really refreshes your skin after using it. Um, the other day I was moving and it was so hot and I was just like, oh my god, oh my god, I need something on my face. So I just went and grabbed a cloth, used this, and just pretty much hydrated my face, to be honest. And this was very, very, very good. I love, love, love this thing. It's just pretty much water and it definitely does clear out your skin. Like, like it removes makeup because I was like, hmm, let me see. I tried it and then I washed my face with my regular washer, my washer, with my favorite, um, my fa my regular face wash, and I didn't have any makeup. Like, it actually did take all the makeup out, but I absolutely love it. It refreshes your skin, definitely hydrates it. is very very good. And the other thing from the Simple Um Scare line I have been using is a nourishing 24 hour date night cream kind to skin, and it's just pretty much a cream, and it's nourishing. So pretty much, um, I use it. I don't like to use it at, at daytime because I you I wear my makeup and I already have my moisturizer. But I use it at night when I wash my face and I just apply it all over my face and all the way down to my neck, just pretty much to just nourish your skin. So moving now to makeup, let's talk about Magave. Um, I went to Sephora about a week or two or two ago. I wanted really to grab a couple of things that were actually going to be um, my high-end products to splurge on and to have because I've seen a lot of hype about it and I said you know what I have to try for myself the first thing I picked up was the Kat Von D shade a light contour palette shade and light contour palette and I have to say I love it I'm not like obsessed with it because of I guess I gotta work with it a little bit just because uh, right now I'm trying so many different foundations and I guess with some foundations it kind of does not blend easily I don't know if I'm probably not applying something correctly but um, I do like it I do like it I, I love it actually I'm not gonna say I don't like it or love it I do love it and um, I love the packaging the packaging is so cute I love these type of packaging like the nude um, the nude tooth palettes those kind of sort of packaging are amazing and you guys have seen it I'm not gonna talk much about it it's just pretty much as you guys can see you have your light then you have the banana one that's sort of like a banana and then you have this one which is sort of like that peachy color and then of course you have your three different colors here that you can match um, with your skin whichever it is so I, abs I I really do like it I just wish that like the Anastasia um cream contour palette not in cream it's just that the cream contour palette came in three different shade um, shades and you can actually like use it with your skin um, color like of course I'm gonna be the the light one and this one is pretty much for like everybody so that's the only thing I'm there I'm all I'm always like a little weird to get um, contour palettes because I want to get a contour palette that the colors that are there are going to suit my skin, my color, my complexion. But I do gotta say I love it. Uh, very pigmented and very very easy to blend depending on the foundation I use to be honest. So the other thing I picked up and it's sort of like a splurge thing, I really wanted to try it. These other things has been like a hyped up product here on YouTube and I had to try it. And that is the NARS uh, what is it? Then? Oh my god! I'm so glad I have carpet in here. 
All right, the other thing is this is the All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation, and this is right here. And of course, you guys seen it, it comes with a pump. This is pretty much, I would say, my third high end foundation that I bought like full size. Like, I bought it and I've been using it. I have to say, I love this foundation. I don't think it's like my, it's gonna be my go to foundation for high end because I'm actually trying another one that I am loving. It's just pretty much an awesome foundation. It's very, very lightweight. Um, the coverage that it gives me, for me, it's a little on the medium to full coverage for me because there's other foundations that for me have been full coverage and that foundation next to this one is definitely not full coverage to be honest for me it gives me sort of a medium to full coverage love the fact that it's very lightweight so it's perfect for summer because you don't feel like you're wearing a lot of makeup but it gives me a very nice finished complexion and I do 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 like it I actually apply it I actually use it with my beauty blender because um, it is, or you can even use it with your fingers to be honest, but I find it that with the Beauty Blender it gives me a little more, uh, flawless finish and I absolutely love it. So it's a very good foundation. It is on the pricey side. I do gotta say it was pricey, but it is completely worth it. I am actually in love with that NARS foundation. The L'Oreal Pro Matte, it's L'Oreal Infa Infallible Pro Matte. It's a very awesome foundation. I picked it up. It was too dark for me. Actually using it as my cream contour. And that's what I'm wearing right now. And I absolutely love, love, love the finish of this foundation. When I wore it for the first time, I mixed it with another foundation and I loved it. It's really, really good. It's it's a drugstore foundation, but it's really good. I have been using it again for my cream contour. The other foundation that I have been loving and I have to get is the Estee Lauder foundation. I hopefully am pronouncing that wrong. Right, I can never pronounce that. Estee Lauder. Estee Lauder. Este Lauder. Oh, whatever. It's right here. And it's the double wear foundation. I actually was with my friend. Um, we wanted to find new um, high end foundations that will work for us. So we kind of went and decided to get samples before actually explore splurging on the actual product so I actually gotta say I have been obsessing over this foundation and I will be getting the full size because I absolutely love the coverage I love how long it stays and I definitely love how well I can blend my makeup on top of that foundation love it believe the hype on the Estee Lauder uh, double wear foundation because it is worth every single penny and it's not that expensive I've I actually bought Makeup Forever for like 40 something dollars. That is 30 something dollars. So it's not that expensive. The other thing I have been loving, and you guys know everyone raves about them and is obsessed about them, and is the and is they are the Anastasia Li Beverly Hills Liquid Lipsticks. And I actually was able to get my hands on my two favorites that these are the only two I wanted because I love nudes and of course Pure Hollywood and Lovely. That is what I'm wearing right now. This is the um combination I have right now and the photo I posted last I posted on on Instagram um, this is of course the makeup I had I have and of course going out with the hubby so I actually mixed lovely with pure Hollywood and I absolutely love them I have used them separately and the colors are amazing the pigmentations are beautiful I'm not gonna swatch them for you guys because you guys already seen them all over the media sites media websites Instagram everything Again, they are worth every single penny. They are on the expensive side to be a, um, to be some liquid lipsticks. They are expensive, but a little bit goes a long way, and they are just amazing quality, amazing products, like literally. The other thing I've been loving, um, I, I'm sort of like in a hate relationship, to be honest. I'm not, I'm not saying I've been loving. Just a hate relationship. I guess I picked up the wrong color, and it's the NYX Micro Brow Pencil, which is this one right here, which is pretty much what people are saying it's a dupe for the Anastasia. Um, actually, you can use it and it will work for you. I don't think it's an exact do for Anastasia because I think the Anastasia one sort of has a more, um, waxy consist waxy finish to it. Like, you're able to blend it very well. This one is more a little harsh on blending and being able to get it, like, actually there. But it does the work. It's just a lot less. I think it's half, uh, like, literally half the price of the Anastasia. But it definitely works, and I, I have been using it. I like it when I'm actually on a rush. That's what I use to do my eyebrows. And then the other two products for makeup I have been loving. And uh, it's the e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator. 
and this I also picked up on my last Target haul and it's just a pretty much a lipstick with a balm and some exfoliating beads and I've been loving it because I've been using a lot of matte um, lipsticks that's all I use the matte lipsticks those matte liquefied lipsticks and it tends to dry out my lips so I actually love this that when I'm applying my makeup or when I go to sleep I apply this and it definitely really really helps with all that um nasty that cells and the stuff in your lips I really don't like it the other thing I've been loving is by NYX as well, or NYX, whatever you want to call it. And this is a dark circle concealer corrector. And my color that I've been using is the light. And it's just sort of like an orangey um, paste sort of thing. And I have been loving it actually. It helps me hide a lot my under eyes. Again, my under eyes literally are like I grabbed a Sharpie and I just painted my under eyes because they're really, really, really dark. So that has actually worked. I What I do is I apply that first before anything on my face and then I apply everything else and I see how well the concealer looks after wearing that. And the other thing I've been loving is my nail polish and the color, and this is from OPI and the color is charge dub sherry it's sort of like a pinkish coral look i think it's lovely not for our spring so ladies i think this is all that i really wanted to share with you guys again thank you so much for your patience thank you so much for your continued support your love means the world to me knowing that i've been mia for like three weeks now and you guys keep showing me your support i really do appreciate it it means the world to me you guys don't even know i will be doing that giveaway pretty soon i gave you my word and i am not going to let you down okay so thank you so much for your love thank you for everything let me know if the grayish background is not bothering you i can probably do something give me your ideas let me know if i can just put like some lights or something oh i'm too close I can just put some lights or something so it doesn't look that dull or if you guys really don't mind. So I hope you guys liked my favorites. Um, I want to know what products you've been loving for March. Let me know in the comments below. Be like, Francis girl, I've been loving this, this, this and that. I will love to try out. It's always good to try new products. So let me know and if you guys like this video, just go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, hello, what are you waiting for? Thank you so much for sticking till the end. Mwah, besotes. Be blessed, precious pearls. Until my next video. Bye.